everybody. Uh, I'm here because I want to kind of help you uh, practice at home some of the things we've been working on in class. Um, and one of the main things that we've been working on, um, and ironically one of the things that will be easiest for you to practice at home, is the drum set. Now if you look around, I, I don't have my drum set with me. I left that at school. In fact, I don't even have sticks with me right now. Um, but one thing that we do have, one thing that we can build at home, is our body drum set. Um, now we've gone over this a little bit in class, but I'm just going to let you know, I'm going to remind you, all the different parts of our body drum set that we can use. Um, even if you're at home and you don't have a drum set lying around, just like I don't have a drum set lying around right now. Um, so the main parts of your body drum set are the main parts of the drums translated onto our body. Um, we have our kick, our snare, and our hi-hat. So that's kind of the basis where we're going to start, and that's where most of your patterns are going to be. Now the kick is going to be, obviously, your foot, but you got two feet, so which one is it? It's going to be your right foot. All right, so you're going to make sure you start with your right foot. And if you're not sure what your right or your left is, you can always check with your parent. Um, just check so you make sure you're doing it not backwards. All right, so you got your right foot right here, that'll be your kick. Um, the snare drum is the next one that's going to be your left hand on our left leg. It's not going to cross over, it's going to be left hand on the left leg. And so if you want to make sure you're correct, your kick and your snare drum on your body should be on the opposite side. It should be on the same side. Um, and the last one is the hi-hat. Now the hi-hat is going to be your right hand, it's the other hand, on your left shoulder. So this one should be crossing over. So you have your kick, your snare, and your hi-hat. Now if you feel like you're moving a little bit fast, remember, you can always go back. All right, that's the best thing about these videos is you can just click rewind. All right, so we have our kick our snare drum, and our hi-hat. Now, we have a lot of different patterns, and I'm going to show you a couple of them, and um, I'll leave some space in between for you to practice and for you to play along with me, um, but this is so you can do this on your own, ideally with some songs that you might want to play with, um, and it will translate to the drum set. So, the first pattern we're going to do doesn't actually use the hi-hat, so you can take that hand and put it behind your back, so we're not going to use it. Uh, the first pattern is just a simple kick snare. Right, so my turn first is going to go like this. You're going to go kick, snare, kick, snare, kick, snare, kick, snare. All right, you can do it with me. Let's do it together. Here we go. One, two, here we go. Kick, snare, 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 kick, snare. Now, it's important that you're saying it out loud because it's actually going to help you stay in time. Now, some songs that have this pattern, um, We Will Rock You uh, by Queen, is actually one of the really popular songs that uh, doesn't use the hi hat at the very beginning. And you can do a lot of that song just by kick, snare, just by doing that, just by rocking that beat right there. All right, this next pattern, it's going to use the hi hat, so let's build it again. So we have our kick, our snare drum, and our hi hat. And it's going to go like this, all right? It's our foot hands pattern. Most of us know it's going to be foot, hands, foot, hands, foot, hands, foot, hands. Now, the confusing part is when we start to do, oh, I don't know which one I'm going to do next. So it's important that we say it out loud. Foot is going to be our kick drum and our hi-hat at the same time. So why don't you go ahead, why don't you please do my echo? It's going to be like this. Foot, foot. Foot, foot. Good. Next one we're going to do is hands, hands. And hands is our snare drum and our hi hat together. It's going to be like this hands, hands. Hands, hands. So let's try doing two of each and then switch into the other one. So my turn first, I'm going to do each one twice. Foot, foot, hands, hands. Foot, Foot, hands, hands. Foot, foot, hands, hands. One more time. Foot, foot, hands, hands. Good. Let's go ahead and let's try doing it one each. So we go foot, hands. We're going to go a little bit slower, all right? My turn first. Foot, hands, foot, hands. Foot, hands, foot, hands. Foot, hands, foot, hands. One more time. Foot, hands, foot, hands. Now 
remember, if you feel like you're struggling or like me going a little bit too fast, go back, try it again. All right, this is something that you can work on in your own time. This is just the tools that you need to be successful on your own. All right. And then this last pattern is the most advanced one we're going to go to right now. It is our level three. It's called the backbeat. Now, the last pattern, foot hands, is a lot of songs, um, kind of uh, the drum part simplified. So you can actually do most rock, pop songs out there, a lot of different genres with that pattern. Um, now, this next pattern is going to be a little bit more challenging. You can still do most of those same songs, but it's to go a little bit further if you feel like you can go a little bit further. So here's the pattern like this. Instead of going foot, hands, foot, hands, we're going to take our hi-hat and we're going to add an extra beat in between. So it's actually going to go like this. It's going to go foot and hands and foot and hands and foot and hands and foot and hands. All right, I know. Whoa, what do you do? All right, I'm going to break it down for you. So at the very core, this third level, this backbeat is what we're going to call it, has foot, and we have one more hi-hat in between, hands, foot, and hands, and foot, and hands. And if you look, whenever I say and, that's going to be just me hitting my hi-hat. Right? So I'm going to go very slow. Foot, and hands, and foot, and hands, and foot, and hands, and foot. Let's do it together. Here we go. Foot, and hands, and foot, and hands, and foot, and hands, and foot, and hands. Good job. Now, go back. Practice whichever pattern you want to focus on. All right, I wouldn't pick all three of them. I'd work on one, and when you feel like you have a mastery of that one, then move on to the next one. Now you might be saying, all right, well, I can do it on my body. I want to get to the drum set, but I don't have a drum set at home. Most people don't. It's okay. One thing that I like to do, and I did this when I was a kid, and I do this when I don't have my drum set, is I like to find things around my house that I can get sounds out of. All right? So pots. Pans, ask your parents. Don't just go to the kitchen and start ripping everything out. Uh, cardboard boxes, pillows. If you have like an egg shaker at your home, that can be like a good hi-hat. But anything that can make sound can be a drum set. If you go and you look up bucket drumming or kitchen drum set or um, luggage drum set, there's a lot of videos showing you different sounds you can get out of it. Now, is it going to sound like a drum set? Probably not. It might. Probably not, though, right? But the point is you get to go out there and you get to be creative and create your own drum set and your own sounds, all right? So those are the things I want you to work on, creating your own sounds, your own drum set, and working on those three patterns, um, whichever one you think is your level, all right? Thanks for watching. If you need help, rewind, talk to, go a little slower, and uh, I hope you guys got a little bit out of this video.